Hey team, I want to chat with you guys for a minute about getting out of a funk. I'm pretty sure that almost all of us have been there at some point. You get kind of sunken down in this funk and I'm not talking about the one where you're just having a bad day and it's all you need is a little bit of a break or maybe a good song and um, you know a bath or something to get you out of that funk. If that, That's legitimate, but what I'm talking about is the funk that lasts a week or a couple weeks or a couple months even, and you just kind of keep spiraling. And obviously, I'm going to talk to you guys about how this applies to your business, but usually when we're in that space, it's a lot of everything. It's not just one thing that's kind of messing with our head, but that it might be, you know, different facets from our life, our marriage, our job, our business, our kids, all of it kind of coming together and creating this cognitive dissonance or this trouble in our hearts. And, um, so I'm going to give you a few steps to start moving out of the funk and, um, all of those, all of this really comes down to our thoughts. And how this relates to your business is really network marketing. This business is built between your ears. It's all up here when you can get a handle on what's going on in your mind and capture those thoughts, which we'll talk about in a second. It, it really will allow you to grow your business beyond what you might even have ever thought was capable for you. So you have to work really hard to manage these thoughts and really take control. And listen, you were designed by God with the power to create your thoughts literally and physically create your reality. So I want you to be really aware of that and use that power that you have instilled in you, that you have right here to use it for good, use it for your own good to build your life and, and, you know, direct it in the, the way that you want to go, not to build up something that's going to destroy you or move you in the wrong direction or away from what you truly, truly want. So use this power that you have right here for good and not for evil. So those four steps that I kind of was mentioning before, um, again, they all start with your thoughts and your mind. So number one is to capture your thoughts and, um, second Corinthians 10 five says this about capturing your thoughts. We destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. So capturing your thoughts is step number one. And you really just have to give yourself grace <laughs> and take the time to recognize that you had a thought, you hear yourself, you hear that little voice in your head um, and sit with that thought and examine it, you know, take that kind of remove yourself from that thought. So let's, it, I'm talking about negative thoughts that don't serve you. So, um, for example, I was writing out goals for this year for my business, where I want to be. And then I started breaking down, you know, what it's going to take to get there. And I happened to hear in my little mind, my powerful mind, a thought that went off. Wow, that's scary. I don't know if I can do this. And it was so subtle. I almost just kept going on. I almost just moved on with my day and didn't capture that thought. But, but I did <laughs> manage to grab it. So I'm talking about thoughts like that, thoughts that are counterintuitive, that are not truth. So you want to first and foremost, capture those thoughts, recognize that you're having a thought that is not the truth and that is not pointing you in the direction that you want to go. So capture the thought as one, just recognize that you had it and sit with it and maybe kind of dig into that. Like, Hmm, I wonder why I'm feeling that way. So that's number one. Step number two, once you capture that thought is to then identify the truth. So what's the truth? If I'm feeling scared and that this goal seems, you know, maybe impossible, what's the truth? Well, the truth is I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, right? Um, and it doesn't have to be even a biblical truth, but really just the truth about the situation. Maybe I'm feeling um, sad and hurt by someone and it's really crummy. But the truth is that feeling is not going to last forever. So I can sit with it and I can allow it and I know that it's going to end. So identifying the truth is step number two. Then you basically put those two together. So you want to acknowledge your thought or your feeling and then reframe it in a statement that's and like an and truth statement is what I want to call it. So just what I just said to you. So um, it was my goal wow, that, that goal seems really scary and I'm not sure I can do it. And the truth is 
I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. That is a powerful message. And that's literally physically rewiring my brain because every thought that we have takes up physical space in her brain. Um, so by re reframing it in an and truth statement, I'm giving, I'm acknowledging my own feeling. I'm not denying myself. I'm saying, yes, that does feel scary. And the truth is this. So I want you guys to practice this this week. Um, you know, if, if it comes up when you're, uh, you know, about to reach out to someone or thinking, oh man, I need to do my IPA. And then you start beating yourself up. Oh, I, I just am not consistent with this. So let's reframe that. Um, it's really difficult for me to be consistent and whatever the truth is. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Look at that. It fits right there. So that's number three. So capture your thought as one, identify the truth, push those together with an and truth statement. And then number four, to get yourself out of this cycle of funk, choose one little baby step that can move you out of this. And I'm going to suggest that that baby step is something around taking care of yourself physically. Because my guess is if you've been in a funk for a while, that funk goes something like this. You feel bad about yourself. Um, you start, you know, telling yourself, Oh, I just always do this and I'm not good at that. And blah, blah, blah. You're down on yourself in your mind. And so then you just don't take care of yourself. So then you feel physically bad and then you're down on yourself because you're not taking care of yourself. And again, you don't move into action and you don't do anything about it. You just kind of perpetuate the cycle of feeling bad. Cause sometimes it's just, you just want to feel bad. Honestly, you're already feeling crummy. Why not feel crummier? So I want step number four for you to be, to choose one, one little baby step that you can commit to for a day. And then maybe the next day after that, and maybe make it to a whole week. One thing that's going to take care of you physically, maybe that's drinking your water every day. Maybe that's committing to taking your products. If you've not been consistent on that, something to take care of yourself. One baby step step that is getting you in action, moving you out of that funk. So I hope that helps. Those are my four steps for you guys today. Um, it comes from my heart, I promise. And um, if you want to know more about your thoughts and the power of your thoughts, this is a really, really good book. Switch on your brain by Dr. Carolyn, Carolyn Leaf. And with that, I hope you guys have a happy Monday.